Hi, I'm Bill Ritchie, and today I'm working on an interesting project. I just got an order from Saudi Arabia for a pram half wood press, and the uh, owner wants me to make a test print. And so I asked her for an image, and she sent me uh, the word peace in Arabic. And so that gave me the idea of combining her calligraphy with an image of the press in a test print. So, if this all goes well, this video will show you the whole process. I'll start with a little background information, the paper preparation. I tore five or six sheets of Arches Cover, my own favorite uh, printing paper, and I sprayed it with uh, water on both sides. And then I tore an equal number, uh, plus one, of newsprint and of the same size and I sprayed it also. Then I stacked it in a pile. I added one sheet of a Japanese paper called Chiri and that's going to be for my Shinkole technique for my first print. And the sheets are stacked every other one, a fine piece of paper, a piece of newsprint, a fine piece of paper, a piece of newsprint and so on until I have a stack. Put that in a plastic bag and let it stand overnight sealed up under a flat board for weight. I'll be using a black etching ink from France by Charbonnel and I'll be using an oil bar for color that's the oil bar on the lower right corner and I'll mix the oil bar with a little bit of burnt plate oil that's what's in the little jar in the upper left hand corner. For mixing my ink I'll use a glass slab with a white background under the glass, a putty knife or ink mixing knife and the squeegee is a rubber squeegee which is manufactured for squeegeeing windows. I cut off a two inch piece. The copper plate was etched using the image from Saudi Arabia transferred to the copper plate with the silicone coated paper that I use similar to what circuit board makers use and the textured pad you see underneath is to help the plate keep from slipping while I'm wiping on it. I will be using chine coulee for the first print and for the adhesive I like to use dry powdered wheat paste. The cup in the foreground is uh, full of dry powdered wheat paste and it has several layers of cotton gauze over the top so I can use it like a shaker, like a salt shaker. I mix my ink first, squeeze a little bit of black from the Charbonnel tube and work it around with the putty knife, the ink mixing knife, until it's nice and uh, worked up. And I only have one knife so I'm going to clean it before I get the ink from the ink bar, the oil paint ink bar. It comes very stiff so I have to break it up and mix it with a little bit of burnt plate oil, special oil for etching. It takes a while to mix this up because it comes very hard as a bar. And after a while, it's as smooth as any etching ink. Apply the ink with the little short squeegee. I'm going to start with the black first and staying well away from the other part of the image which I'm going to ink with the, the red ochre oil bar. I clean the edges before I start wiping with the paper wipe. I've been using telephone book pages for many years now and I've almost stopped using tarlatan which is the traditional way of wiping an etching plate this plate I'm pressing quite hard actually because the etched areas of the calligraphy are so deep and I want to be sure that I don't leave an excess amount of ink trapped in those deeply etched areas. The second color, the oil bar, red ochre, I'm applying the same way using the little squeegee. Staying away from the black as much as possible one more cleaning of the edge and I'm ready to start the chine coulee. First I set up the press. The lightweight thinner blanket goes down first. It's called the sizing catcher 
and then the roller blanket goes on top of that. Put it under the roller a little bit, the roller's been raised up, and uh, once it's started, then turn the pressure down. I'll be needing a damp surface when I do the chincoule, so I'm spraying a piece of blotter paper, and I'll roll that out on my work area, and go and fetch my chincoule paper, the Japanese chiri, along with its piece of newsprint, damp newsprint. I'll put the cherry over the top of the plate and then cut it to size while it's damp and it's a good idea to maybe give it a light spraying uh, so that it doesn't dry out ahead of time. I keep my dry powdered wheat paste in a paper cup covered with several layers of fabric and I shake it on like a salt shaker. Now I take out a piece of the damp newsprint and put that on the press bed and place the plate on the damp newsprint. The plate of course has the cherry chincolet piece ready and over the top of that the fine printing paper, the arches cover, which is also damp. Carefully line it up with the edges of the plate and start turning through. I like to go slowly when I print. I was taught that the slower you go the better because the ink has more time to press up into the paper fiber and also to drive out the water ahead of the oil based ink. For the video I went two times on this printing so you're seeing it coming back at you in the video after it's been through twice. And when I stop and pull the felt paper back. There's one more thing I do, which is my own invention, which is called the moment number. It's a series of numbers denoting the year, the month, the day, and the time by the 24-hour clock. I also have a little stamp that shows my latitude and longitude of my studio in Seattle, so I complete the exact time and the exact place. And I call it a moment number. It's a printmaking moment. By this means I may be able to share this print and this video and anything else about what I think is interesting with people all over the world through a game I'm inventing called Proxy Mates, referring to the fact that you might have mates approximately printing at the same time somewhere in the world. Here's the proof. We call it proof because everything up until now has been theoretical. Now we have proof. I decided to make a second proof. This one without the chincoule. So once again, a piece of newsprint on the press bed to keep the plate from slipping. The plate goes on the newsprint, that's damp newsprint. It's important that it be damp to help prevent the plate from slipping. The fine paper has two sides. I like to print on the side that's slightly natural looking and textured. This time I'm printing only one time through the press. You can see the moment number taking form there, 160826. That is August 26th, and that is my stamp showing my latitude and longitude. And I'm marking the time, Pacific Daylight Time. And here's the second proof. I said at the beginning that I was doing a video for a woman in Saudi Arabia who has ordered this Pram Halfwood Press. I've printed two from the plate that I etched for her. One I use Chine Collet, the other is just a straight print. So, 
Hope you enjoyed watching this. I'm Bill Ritchie in Seattle. Thanks for watching.